Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. What you're gonna find here is a mom of three, a teacher, and an online business owner. And this channel is gonna be all about ways that you can earn money online from your own home, from your comfy bed. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. If you do not know me already, my name is Michelle Mahoney, and I have created my own online business, and so that means I no longer have to report to a nine to five job. And so that's what I want to talk about today. That's what I want to share with you. And that's what I want to bring you to my community. And so it's really important for you to know who I am and what I'm all about about what's my story, right? Because if you don't know me or my story, it's kind of hard for you to be able to take any advice that I have or come with me on this journey and share your own. So it's really important for me to share my story with you so you know what I'm all about and where I'm coming from. So I would say that my entrepreneurial journey and like um, light bulb went off in my head back in 2013. I was actually planning my wedding and I went to David's Bridal to get my dress. And when you were there, you can share your information with the store. And they actually were sharing my information at the time with a third party. And that was with a company, an MLM company. And that is how one of my um, top I guess, modelers of this kind of entrepreneurial journey started for me. And her name is Sharon. And honestly, I give her the most credit right now because if it wasn't for Sharon finding me and reaching out to me about doing my hair and makeup for my wedding, I would not probably be sitting here today, at least knowing what I know today, because my journey would have been different if it wasn't for Sharon. So I do have to give her so much credit because she's the one that introduced me into this company that she was with. And um, changed my life, changed my trajectory, changed my thoughts, my opinions, my world. And the company did as well. They showed me, uh, you know, what there is to offer out there. They showed me how to care for myself, how to, you know, really be there for God and for my family. And so this really, really started back in 2013. And uh, Sharon came and she did my hair and makeup. And she told me about the company she was with. And she was like, hey, you know, you should really try this. You should do this for yourself. You seem like you have a great personality and you'd be great at this. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't really sell things. Like, I don't think I could do that. And my mom happened to be there. And surprisingly, I didn't expect this either. But my mom was like, yeah, you should do it. You'd be great. And I was like, what? Mom, like, you really believe that I could do this? You you really do? Like, okay. So um, my mom is like my second person on that list for that particular journey, right? Because she was saying, I mean, your mom's your first always, right? But she was telling me, um, hey, you know, try it, right? Right? Why not? So I was like, you know what? What the heck? Why not? I'm only planning a wedding. I can throw something else. I can start my own business. Why not? Um, that's what I do. If you know me closely, I take on everything because I love it. I love to do a bunch of things. I am someone that you will never hear. I'm bored come out of my mouth. I'm never bored. I don't know how people can be bored because for me, bored is like not even something that happens to me ever. I, I just I don't know. That's just me because I'm always busy. I probably have ADD. I think I've come to that conclusion. I'm not officially diagnosed, but I think that's me because I love to do like a, a bunch of things. But anyways, I kind of digressed. So anyway, so 2013, I joined this company. I started, you know, going to the events and I started, you know, selling my skincare and my makeup and doing all the things. And I told my close friends about it. Lisa, hi, how are you? Lisa joined me, joined me on this journey. My best friend, Amanda, joined me on this journey. Uh, my mom ended up joining it with me and my friend Brittany. Brittany is another huge integral part of my journey because it is somebody that I met in the company and now she is with my husband's best friend and they have a baby together, a beautiful baby together. So um, it's just crazy. Like this company changed my life. They changed my way of thinking and how I go about doing the things that I do today. And so that's an important part of my journey. I'm not with the company anymore, technically speaking. Um, I do still use the products. I absolutely 100% love them. And I'm still like an on and off independent consultant because they give you such a good deal if you do that sort of thing. So I do still 100% use them. I would never, there was one other MLM company became, I became a part of and I also use still to this day their products as well because I felt like I could never sell something to somebody else if I wasn't using it myself and really believed in it. So I 100%, if you are ever going to sell something um, or join an MLM company, there's so much that they can offer, but you really truly have to be 
invested in it and really love it. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that um, tomorrow in my training. But today's my story, right? So after I joined the company, um, I was with it at that company for a few years, probably maybe like four, I would say maybe like four years consecutively that I was actually really integrated in, in it and doing my thing. And I learned so much about myself, about what I was willing to do, the risks I was willing to take, putting myself out there, you know, sharing with my family that this is something that I wanted, even when there was doubt and there was concerns and people didn't believe I could do it or, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to really think that somebody can start their own business on, um, you know, doing their own thing. Sometimes for some people it is. And so even for myself, there was a lot of self-doubt in the beginning. Um, but now fast forward, now it's 2021 and I'm completely doing exactly what it is that I want to be doing and I can't even believe it. Um, but let's rewind again, go back to 2014. Um, I got pregnant in this journey with my first daughter, Angelina. And so I was still in the company, but 2014 hit when she was born in October. And in December of that year, I made a very critical decision that has also changed what I want to do. And I wish I could remember exactly like how I figured it all out. I just know that I saw that YouTube was a really big platform and I saw that people were being successful on there and they're creating videos and they're just sharing their life and putting it out there on YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. I want to do that. I wanted to find a way to be at home with my babies, to be a stay at home mom, to, you know, stay home with them. But in this community and the way my life was at the time, like that just wasn't a hundred percent an option that we were, I don't want to say willing to figure out, but like that I was interested in even figuring out. Like I just didn't even think that it was something I could actually do. So I never really dug deep into it, but I did say, Hmm, YouTube could be an option. I'm going to do it. So December, 2014 is when I was like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And so I did, I started posting videos and I started, you know, figuring out the whole thing. And, um, it's crazy to like, think back to that now today. And, you know, as the years went on, I just kind of, started like figuring out research and I was going on YouTube and figuring out things. I met someone else in the company. Her name is Michelle Cunningham. hundred percent has changed my life. Like a thousand percent changed everything. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. And, um, she's just been such an, like an amazing part of my journey because, you know, after all these years, I'm raising my family and being with my kids. Um, I became a teacher and I had my own classroom. I had my master's. I got my I earned my master's degree in special education. So I've done all these other things because when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a teacher. Like that was just always my thing. That's what I wanted to do. I used to set up all my dolls in my room and I would like make worksheets and print it out and play school. And I played school with my cousins and even my brother, we got him to do it. And the neighborhood kids, we used to like play school together. Like it was just also like my thing. Um, so I've always wanted to be a teacher. And so when I finally got my own classroom, I did that for about six years and I loved it. And I literally a year ago today, what day is it? It's the seventh. Oh my God. It's literally a year ago today. I did not plan that, but literally a year ago today, I left my personal classroom, my own classroom that I had had for so long in the private school. And it was really, really hard. It, it may have seemed easy to some people on the outside, but it was one of the hardest things I've ever done because that's what I had always wanted. I'd always wanted to be, you know, in the classroom and teaching. And I loved my students. I loved the parents. It had nothing to do with that. I love my coworkers, but I just came to a point where, um, I wanted to be on my own. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to have my own flexibility, my own schedule, especially when you're speaking um, to the people who are running the school and, you know, they don't hear you out maybe exactly how you want to. It's, it's their, it's their ball game, right? It's their stadium. They get to run it how they want. And that kind of is when it became critical for me to say, you know what? I don't have control here. I can't do the things that I want to do personally. I want to be able to have my own, my own stadium, right? I want to have my own platform. I want to teach people to, you know, do the things that are important to me that I know others can do as well. And so that's kind of like my story up until this point is just like, all right, I got to, I got to figure this out. So last year in August, my friend, Michelle Cunningham, who I'd met online, we did meet in person once. Um, so it was like, celebrity status for me. I was like, Oh my gosh, Michelle. But I followed her journey on YouTube and I was watching what she was doing. And I was like, this girl is doing exactly what I want to do, but I'm not doing anything. So if you are someone sitting there watching other people do it, but you're not doing it, 
Why? That's what you have to ask yourself. Why am I not doing it? If it's because you don't know how, then you're in the right place because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it because you totally can. I did it. So you can do it. So a year ago in August, I took her course called the 90 day difference. And it literally was the biggest difference I of my life. And so she has taught me so much about how to run the business, how to do everything, how to be consistent. And so I found an online teaching platform. I began to do that. I became really successful doing that. And so I finally went to my husband and said, hey, this is what I want to do. I want to work on my own. I want to create my own schedule. I want to be there for my son because my girls, I have three children now and my girls are both in school age now. So I never made it for their ages to be home with them hundred percent. Now being a teacher, I did have summers mostly off and like I was able to be with them a lot. I don't feel like I missed a whole lot, but I also wish that I had done this earlier. I wish if I went back that I said, you know what, Michelle, just do it anyways. Find your voice. Do you stop waiting because I waited too long. And luckily enough, I have my son home who's only two and I'm going to be there now for him. So um, last June, was my last day being in a school building and my husband was on board. He said, okay, if you can do this. And I was showing him that I could do it. He's like, all right, we'll try it out. We'll do it. If, if this is what your passion is. And it is my passion. So last June, 2021, I left the school building for good. And I've been on my own since June of 2021, my own online business teaching. And it has been absolutely amazing. And I'm building my own brand. And what that means is your brand is like who you are. It doesn't have to be the company that you work for. In fact, I would recommend that you don't brand somebody else's company. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. I have a a training coming out tomorrow, a free training. This is the link that you can go to to sign up. It's in my Facebook link. It's in my Instagram link. You can comment down below and I can send it there as well. But this um, training that I'm going to be doing is going to show you exactly how you can teach online because anybody can be a teacher. Okay. It doesn't, when we hear teachers, sometimes we think of just the teachers that are in the building, they're teaching our kids history, science, math. That's true. But Anybody can be a teacher. So you can teach people um, all kinds of things. You can teach people how to sew, how to knit, how to cook, how to do arts and crafts. You can teach adults how to brand themselves. You can teach people how to learn how to teach online. You can teach people about reading. You can teach people... Um, what are the great books out there, where they can get the great books out there. If you're into cooking, you can totally, I have all these plans for my close personal friends that are like, well, I want to do that, but I don't really know how. I will show you the step-by-step -step breakdown. It's a formula, right? So it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you are passionate about, that's the key word right there, passion. Whatever you are passionate about is what you can teach others because I guarantee you there's somebody else out there wanting to do that or wanting to learn about it and they're just waiting for you to find your voice and step up and give it to them because that's what that's what they're waiting for and that's what you can do. If you have that passion in your heart, you can be a teacher for any audience that you want. So brand, right? So if you've ever heard of Band-Aid, right? We all know what a Band-Aid is, but Band-Aid is a brand. It is not the actual item. The item that you put on your body to cover a scrape is actually a bandage. That is the word for it. It's a bandage. But Band-Aid is a company and they have branded themselves so well that today's day and age, that's what we call them, Band-Aids. It doesn't matter what the product name actually is because there are other bandage companies that create them. Everybody says Band-Aid. Everybody says Band-Aid, but Band-Aid is a brand. It is not the actual item. So if you are working for a company, an MLM, whatever it may be, or let's just use Target, right? Because I don't want to, I'm not downing any MLMs. They can be really, really fantastic and you can really use them well in your business. But let's say Target was your company and you're going online and you're saying like, Target this, Target that. You can get this from Target and that from Target. Your branding target, who's already a brand, people already know what target is. They don't need to hear about that. They don't want to be sold on target. You don't want to sell targets things like that's not helping you. You want to brand yourself. What are people going to know you for and who you are? So if I wanted to be like, hey, um, I'm Michelle and I sell the pink blankets. 
it doesn't matter where the pink blankets are coming from. You just know me, Michelle, pink blankets. And you're like, oh, that's a pink blanket girl. She's She shows you how to make the blankets, where they come from, like the material, how to sew them together, like whatever it is that your thing is. Find your passion, okay? And then you're going to move forward from there. So in my training, if you sign up for that, that's what we're going to be talking about, really integral details there. I'm going to give you a breakdown exactly of figuring out what it is that's important to you so you could also become your own entrepreneur and your own online business because anybody is capable of doing it. You just have to be led in the correct direction, right? There's lots of things that you can learn and fully be compensated online from doing it. And the greatest part too is you don't have to sell anything. No, you don't have to sell any products and you can still earn money online, right? People are going to be like, you're crazy, girl. That's not how it works. It is how it works. I promise you that. And I will show you exactly what to do. But I wanted to share with you guys about who I am and what I've been doing. So if you think back to 2014, that's when my daughter was born, right? She just turned seven. So I've been on this journey for seven years, kind of trying to figure it all out. But the last year, or even since June is really when I fully went on my own. So I would count like the start of my business being June 2021, because that's when I fully was like, I am not working for anyone else. The only streams of income that I am getting right now is from my own self online. All of my money comes into me digitally. I'm not getting any direct deposits from a company. So if that's any consolation, the other quick thing that I'll mention before I go is that um, if you're only getting one stream of income as a person, then you're you need to add to that, right? Because that's how millionaires work. This is how this is what I figured out, right? When you see somebody with a lot of money, it's because they're having a lot of different streams of income coming in. Maybe they still have um, a nine to five job, but they're also investing in the stock market or they're also having a product that they sell or they're also hosting a course or they also do speaking engagements or there's other streams of income coming in, in a lot of cases. Okay. So it's not just having one thing. And so when you're finding people online that you're talking to too, they're having multiple streams of income. So it's a, again, something I'm going to talk about in my training tomorrow is how to develop those multiple streams of income and how to make them passive. Passive means that you do something maybe once and then it comes in automatically. So you're not sitting there having to you know, always be creating and always being live and doing those things. You can make it so your income is working for you and bringing in money even when you're sleeping. Yep, I'm in my bed right now because my office isn't ready yet. If you know, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, we are doing home renovations. And so I'm nice home, comfy in my bed. I've got my Christmas gear on today. I got to show I have my Christmas pants, my Christmas socks because because guess what? I don't have to dress up for anybody. I am in my own comfort of my home and I'm earning money right now as I talk to you. So I want to be able to show you, teach you how to do exactly what I'm doing because you shouldn't have to wake up every day and go to a job that you hate. We live in a completely different society than what our parents grew up in. We have technology at our fingerprint, uh, at our fingertips. So you can be doing things that you love to do and not have to go to a job that you don't want to go to. If you wake up every day and you're sitting there dreading getting out of bed, then you need to figure something else out, right? Yeah, yes. Um, let's see. We got tough to leave the relationships and connections um, you make, but you're very brave for staying true to yourself. Yes, uh, Lisa, 100%. It is not easy. I am not telling anybody that it is e easy. It is definitely um, something you, you have to commit to. And um, I'm not going to tell anybody to go ahead and like quit their jobs if you don't have any income coming in, but it's so worth it. So not easy, but definitely worth it. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave you here. Sign up for the training if you're interested in hearing more and how you could find your own passion, start making your own money online. And I hope that you got to know me a little bit more. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I can't wait to answer them for you. I got to go get my baby now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching so much and getting to know me a little bit more. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so you can get started with your own online business as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.